Hey everybody, it's me, John, Director and Chief Curator of the Museum of Portable Sound. Welcome back to Doctober. Doctober! Welcome to the next chapter in the brief but fascinating history of the dock, the accessory that made the iPod a little less portable. Hickory dickory dock! If you were tasked with designing an accessory for the iPod or iPhone, what's the one feature of those devices that you would choose to design an entire accessory around? Play the music, play the music. If you said play music, you're wrong. Brain. Because for a group of product designers near the end of the first decade of this century, the most exciting feature to design a dock around was this. Make it, make it That's right. The iPod Touch and the iPhone's ability to flip from playing video in portrait to horizontal mode inspired a whole subcategory of iPod docks. As you're probably well aware, the rotation of objects has fascinated humankind since at least the early 1980s. Well, I do make videos, but they don't move very much. They're static shots of... Um the New York skyline. Oh yes, and I use the screen in the other way. I don't have the TV that way. I have it this way up. So that I have um, the skyline occupying the bottom sixth or fifth of the picture and then sky above that. Thank you very much. Welcome back to the show. And if you're just joining us tonight, we're rotating our image for your enjoyment at home. And I think we're coming very close to the 90 degree mark, aren't we, Hal? Pretty soon, Dave. Okay, pretty soon. Any second now, we'll hit the 90 degree mark. We have achieved 90 degrees, oh, one quarter revolution and proceeding. Please, no flash photos. Hey, you want to get this job today? You're damn right I do. You're going to go in. He'll be up here, okay? You're down here, right? He's on top. He's asking you the questions. Uh -huh. so he asks some questions, you answer some questions, and then you start asking him the questions, and you flip it. Turn that shit around on him. Turn it around on him. Topsy turvy, that motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Accelerate and steer into the ramp. There you go, there you go. That is awesome. Mission accomplished. This fascination with turning things on their side initially inspired product designers at the Sharper Image to create the world's first rotating iPod dock. Hi, I'm David from Sharper Image, and we've got the rotating speaker dock for iPhone. This is innovation at its finest. It's got a docking feature that rotates from vertical to horizontal positioning for the best view possible of whatever you're watching on the iPhone. Founded in 1977 as a catalog business to sell jogging watches, the Sharper Image eventually became known as the place for affluent Caucasian men to obtain semi-useful, semi-functional, semi-futuristic gadgets. Aware of an obvious and significant crossover between their own user base and users of Apple products, the Sharper Image wasted no time trying to capitalize on the success of things like the iPod and the iPhone. And once the iPod moved into the realm of digital video, that was all that the brilliant minds at the Sharper Image needed to develop the most innovative iPod dock ever. It's the rotating speaker dock for the iPhone this is innovation. You got to get one. SharperImage.com. Let's watch this. How cool is that? Likely as a result of the Sharper Image going bankrupt in the year 2008, their iconic rotating dock was later rebranded under a different name. <laughs> Even though the rotating dock wasn't enough to bring the Sharper image out of bankruptcy, that didn't stop copycats from producing their own version of a rotating dock. Copycats included the iLive ISP391B app enhanced speaker with rotating dock for iPhone and iPod, and the iHome IA63B, described on its website as a next generation app enhanced alarm clock FM radio for iPhone and iPod Touch. Introducing the iHome App Enhanced Stereo Alarm Clock Radio that will put your day in motion. The motorized rotating dock lets you watch movies, videos, and picture slideshows on your iPhone or iPod in landscape mode without twisting and tilting your head for a good view. And it's really fun just to watch it rotate. The remote control lets you command the unit, including dock rotation, from just about anywhere in the room, so you can kick back without getting up. 
Get your rotation rocking and leave the others gawking. iHome. Live. Life. Loud. They also claim that the iHome is space-saving. Honestly, these are such ridiculous products that I haven't even been bothered to research the exact dates of when they were produced, or why they stopped being produced, or how much they're currently valued on eBay. Excuse me? The fact that there's actually an entire subgenre of devices built simply to rotate a phone, frankly, it makes me feel a little sick. So that's all I'm going to say about this. You cannot be serious! Well, there you go. There's our second episode of Doctober. Doctober! If you enjoyed this episode, why not check out our website at museumofportablesound.com. The Museum of Portable Sound is not just one cranky old man. It's a cranky old man who actually runs a museum. That's right, and thanks to the magic of COVID-19, now everyone in the world can visit this museum online, because I was forced to do that. So check out museumofportablesound.com slash online to find out how you can book your own visit to the Museum of Portable Sound, where I'll meet with you personally and take you on a guided tour of over 325 sounds.